Hello and welcome to your EastEnders spoilers for the week beginning the 30th of November. This week ends with Ian being left for dead after he is attacked by a resident from Wolford. So get ready for all the suspects to be lined up this week, starting with Max. After he sees Linda alone in the park with a bottle of drink, he asks her to come to the restaurant with him and the pair grow close and eventually kiss again. Little do they know that Ian is watching them from afar and sees them kiss. Ian later uses this information against Max, so will Ian push Max to violence to keep Ian quiet in the end? More suspects added to the list this week when Ian overhears Tiff talking about her surrogacy plans, so he later lets slip to Whitney about what Rainey and Stuart are planning with Tiff and Keegan. Jack later informs them that it is actually illegal to pay for a surrogate in the UK, and just to add fuel to the fire, Ian ends up telling Rainey a few home truths. So of course Stuart is now out for revenge against Ian as well. Mick and Katie head off to the care home where he spent some time with her looking for answers. Katie ends up worrying the visit might bring back memories so she tries to blame Shirley for his upbringing and Mick's problems. Later when Tina notices Mick is upset she jumps to the conclusion that it's because he wants the Vic back so what lengths is Tina going to go to to make sure that happens for Mick? With Callum failing to bring the 999 call to any conclusion, his boss is still breathing down his neck. Later in the week, when Ben finds out no one will work with the Mitchells anymore because there is a grass close to them, Ben sets his sights on, yes you guessed it, Ian, after he finds out that he was the one who made the call to the police. We also have Sharon and Phil trying to sort out a deal for their divorce, and Sharon isn't letting Phil go lightly. She wants everything that's owed to her, even if it's off the books. During the Lucy Bill Awards, Bobby is struggling to pick a winner, but the event is gatecrashed when the police show up to arrest Ian. Peter and Bobby later both decide that their lives can't move on together while their dad is still around, and Ian is blaming Kathy for his wrongful arrest. As the week comes to a close, we see poor little Ian Bill lifeless on the Vic floor. So, place your bets now everyone. Who? hit Ian. Give me a comment below on all your theories. And those were your spoilers for the week beginning the 30th of November. And if you've enjoyed listening to this, we also do a podcast every Sunday where we review the week in full. So make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our content. And like I say, let me know who you think hit Ian.